Hello and welcome in another Unity tutorial. Today I will show you a very cool feature inside the Unity called Sprite Mask. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider to do so, hit the subscribe button below so you will not miss any future content. So let me just demonstrate to you what is, uh, what is all about. So as you see I have the empty project and I can bring my... Uh, I have imported two, two sprites, carrot and the corn. So I just move this sprite into the scenes and now I will just right click in the hierarchy 2D sprite mask. On the sprite I will set the shape, let's say the knob. And I will just set the scale to be 10 by 10. Okay, and now I can go to the corn and I can in the sprite renderer component I can change the mask interaction and I will set it to visible outside. And for the carrot I will change the sprite interaction, the mask interaction, to visible inside. So now, when you change the position of the sprite mask, as you see, the carrot is rendering the inside the shape and the corn is rendering the outside. So this is a very cool effect and you can use it to hide the, some items in your scene and then reveal it to the player. So this is one way of using it. So this is very nice feature, but what if you want to have two different sprite masks and affect different sprites. So for example, if I bring another corn and I will just change the position, just move it on the side a bit. And then I will add another sprite mask. Actually, I will change the first the sp mask inter interaction to be visible outside. And then I will bring another, another 2D sprite mask and I will set different shape for that sprite mask let's say UI sprite and I will change the size to be 10 by 10 okay so as you see if we move one mask and the other mask both of those masks affect all of the sprites so if you want let's say you want to make this cycle affecting only those two sprites you can uh, the one solution to do to do to do this is to actually create another empty object give this object sprite render component and then give this object the sorting group now i can move my sprite mask to be a child of that game object and then I can move the all of the sprites which this sprite mask will affect. So, like that, okay? And then I will create another game object. And then add the sprite renderer component. And then sorting, sorting group. And I will move another corn and then another sprite mask to it. Okay? So now, if I change this knob, it's going to affect only the sprites which are under this game object, so only the corn. And it will not affect any of the other sprites which are outside of this game object. Okay, so this is one way to, to actually so solve it. So, as you see, you can have a very nice effect. You can have a multiple sprite mask and uh, to affect different, different objects. So if I select the shape like a carrot for this sprite mask and I will change its size to be 1, 1 I have the shape of the carrot and I can affect just just the corn on the on the left but if I change if I manipulate the sprite mask the, the other the other sprite mask as you see is affecting only the shape the the sprites which are which are which are siblings to the sprite mask. So I hope this tutorial was useful for you and you can uh, you can add this effect to your game and and create some very nice effects. So thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.